yo, yo, let's hop into game four. All right, Minimal's Eric team against Web Bowser's Jane team. <clears throat> Minimal most likely going to lead Eric. Uh, pretty standard, as I mentioned last game, to get that extra charge on switch in with Eric Captain plan. Web Bowser probably looking to take advantage of that with something like um, maybe a cherry lead. Like last time he ran this team, something like, even Jane would kind of put on some early pressure. What well, Bowser chooses the lead Pema, and Minimal actually starts off with his Grace here. So Grace immediately threatened out by Web Bowser's Firewall. Most likely going to see a switch here to preserve Grace. Grace looks like, um, well, I guess Lise and Grace look like the main answers to Web Bowser's Jane. So Minimal's probably going to want to conserve them uh, at least until Jane goes down. One of the two. Web Bowser definitely threading a firewall here. Might anticipate a switch in and use a physical move, however. But instead, choose for the consistent damage of firewall, the uh, digital defense boost as well, which helps Pema counter Eric a little bit more easily. You can see Fireworks going to do now 52 damage. Minimal full battery with that Eric switch in. Definitely scared of a flicker glove here now that Gloom Locket has been broken. Minimal calling the switch out though and uses Burn Bright. Raising his digital defense a large amount. So definitely putting on the pressure now. Cherry has decent digital defense. Would likely still live a hit from the fireworks. Minimal maybe considering switching out here. On Web Bowser's side. Might call the switch and use something like make decoy, but that's going to be blocked by the infuriating Lee switch in by minimal. So good play there. Though ang the angry is gone, Cherry is free to use pop ups or decoy at this point. Isn't too scared of what Lee can do, but that Bowser takes takes the initiative to bring in Pema again and get off a big hit. And we'll definitely need to be scared of a haymaker here. Pemo with those good muscles and fury pendant. Capable of taking down pretty much anything except Jane with that haymaker. Looks like Whip Bowser did go for the physical haymaker attack here. Going to get taken some damage away from Thor Jane's thorn pendant. As well as his, his, her own fury pendant. And Whip Bowser... Down to 3 HP, easy prey to Grace's biting. Web Bowser knowing this, switching into his Jane. Jane immediately threatened by Minimal's unbutton from Grace. Recognizing this, he switches into his Kaiban, who eats the unbutton. Minimal's Grace raising her initiative, becoming more of a threat against the opposing Wendell sitting in the back. Minimal making use of that infuriating again, blocking the trick from Web Bowser's Kaiban. Immediately threatens with the fireworks. Kaiban does not like those digital attacks. 429 is the damage estimate here. Cherry resists those a little bit better. Is now free to make a decoy. Scouting for a move. Scouting for the switch, perhaps. Though Minimal does get that extra charge from the fireworks. Charges after use. My Bowser taking advantage of the defensive switch. The defensive uh, pressure he's got with Cherry's good digital, or reasonable digital defense and, and emotional defense. Setting up a pop up slayer. Minimal. Getting that KO with Biting on Grace. 
denying a charge on Web Bowser's side. And Web Bowser's now free to bring in something that might do well against Grace. But looking at the remaining fighters, Web Bowser doesn't actually have another great digital attacker other than Pema, who's at 3 HP. It's going to be tough to break through Grace at this point. Bowser, scared of the infuriating Lee switch in, goes for the admire. Raises minimals Lee's stats. Well, Bowser doesn't quite have enough to get that shielded decoy up here, which means minimals free to throw off any attack. Well, Bowser chooses to sacrifice Pema, though catches the tidy and is able to come in unharmed, though. Again, Grace is biting. Make short work of that Pema on 3 HP. Biting does 10 damage every time you switch in against the opponent. So great for picking off uh, low health fighters. Great for breaking Gloom Lockets. Use Grace. What Bowser might be seeing his lack of answers to Grace here. Not really any good digital attacks, which is kind of Grace Grace's weakness. And while we'll recognizing this, going uh, and setting up with a deep breath raises emotional attack and emotional defense, which means those admirers are not going to do it. All they're doing are helping the setup here. Well, Bowser are definitely in trouble. Grace's fleeting lock, it breaks. Tags out. The minimal is honestly safe to bring Grace right back in if he chooses to. Um, really. Almost all the fighters on his team are, are still are very good against Kaiban, having a digital attack. Chooses Eric. Wants to get a big hit off on something, recognizing that a parry is available on Web Bowser's side. Chooses to flourish, which means the parry is not successful, which means Jane's captain plan does not go off. Web Bowser's Kaiban goes down to Eric's flourished fireworks. Did Web Bowser go for the parry there? Let's see. Oh, it looks like he did go for the parry there, which means there's no more battery on Web Bowser's side. This is going to be an uphill battle. Web Bowser most likely going for the bypass clause there to take advantage of Eric's low physical defense. Lee switches in, takes that hit, is able to outspeed Jane. Looks like Web Bowser does not run any initiative on Jane, so no chance of outspeeding Lee's here. Wendell does not want to take an admire. Uh, looks like Web Bowser is running a detached Wendell, so uh, immune to that biting on Grace, but it's going to be very hard to get Web Bowser's window back up to high enough HP where he can survive a, something like a flicker glove from Sela. At this point, I think Grace has enough initiative to potentially outspeed window here. Yep. With that early end button at the beginning of the game means it's very... It turns Grace into a powerhouse. Um, has multiple boosts, both from own deep breaths and also the admire from Kaiban. Not much what Bowser can do here. I think a button's gonna seal the deal. Wow. Fast game. Very well played by Minimal. Taking advantage of it's really taking advantage of the lack of digital attacks on um, Web Bowser's team here. Um, once once Pema went down, uh, Minimal could kind of go ham with, with Grace, realizing that if Cherry doesn't have a digital attack, um, Pema was too low and, and couldn't throw him back with Firewall, and Jane, of course, goes down to any sort of emotional attack, especially Grace's unbuttoned. So, um, very well played by, by Minimal, um, realizing, denying the... the the Jane decoy once again with that flourish on the Eric. 
or with Eric's fireworks. Kind of what Bowser playing on the back back foot most of this game, which is very difficult to do on a Jane Captain team. You really want to stay ahead and, and get those decoys. You want to stay ahead, ahead on battery, which is also pretty difficult against an Eric team. So, uh, good game. I look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.